Hey, 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 guys, it's me, it's Archaea Casbo. Look at us. You can see me. As you can see on screen today, we are playing Foliage versus Undead. As so, what is Foliage versus Undead? It is similar to Plants vs. Zombies. It's made by Bob Ivar. He remade Plants vs. Zombies in 3D, but with his own little twist. It's no longer like what you normally expect it to be. Instead, it's a 20 minute long mission with 69 different waves. I know. As you can see down here in this corner, there's a wave counter. Quite long and scary. Another cool thing about this is the zombies spawn over over here in the graveyard just like in the promotional image look at our little potato mine we have eight plants some flower pea shooter the ice flower the repeater the chomper the walnut the potato mine and of course the cherry bomb as you can see we don't have to tap on the sun we just have to go buy it it's really nice you should watch bob ivers video the link to his video will be down in the description below now this mission will be hard especially when we get to the final waves oh, we should probably handle the the huge wave of undead you can plant on the house yeah that's right you can plant on the roof in stage one slash stage two also pea shooters can follow my cursor depending if i hit the space button or not so we we really need to get a sunflower in here not sunflower pea shooter pea shooter sunflower apparently they're the same thing later into the level we will plant a whole bunch of pea shooters up here so we can have them you know do this as you can see on screen right now i can aim at this zombie and then they'll shoot or this one or that one or this one and there if there isn't a aim limit sunflower on the roof no pot still all basic zombies no bucket heads cone heads now i want to get in a row of ice peas you know as as you can see slows them down Ooh, perfect time and we just got some more places to plant bare minimum you know something to slow them down damage it let's see do we have any cone heads yet no all, all brown coats okay we we should be fine for the next few minutes now i do want at least one row of repeaters i'm probably going to try for two rows that is a lot of sun because there's there should be nine rows to plant i would also like some chompers out i'd rather focus on the repeaters for now do you guys want to see a cherry bomb you want to see him go kaboom boom it's nice huge wave of undeads coming that's fine let him come <laughs> We're doing pretty good there's not too many cone heads yet they are starting to be sprinkled in we, we got one row of the repeaters in we we need a lot more Ooh, look at that wave it's healthy i, I am expecting it to change tonight very soon oh what did i just say it's too bad there's not any mushrooms that you can plant we might actually have to switch the chompers location with the snow pea we're doing pretty good so far chat but trust me in the end game it gets Crazy. Uh, honestly, I'm feeling cherry bomb. Boom. Yeah, heck yeah. Oh, that, that, they're still going heck yeah. I mean, don't broke it if it's not fixed, right? Something like that. Skadoosh all of them out. We are going to start getting into some crazy territory, though. That's right. We, we are starting to switch out some of these pea shooters for repeaters. That's right. We're, we're, we're just planting all we can. Get, get that defense going, because look, this is what we have to deal with. They're all brown coats, yes, but in numbers, those things can get dangerous. There's the cone heads I was worried about. The next ones will be the buckets, and those will scare me. There's so many. We can just get to the last wave. We could just let them eat, eat to the lawnmowers. Oh boy, they're they're breaking through the top. There. Oh, there's the bucket heads. I was worried. I was really worried about them, guys. We 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 are starting to go down. If we can just keep stalling them until the end, we we might just be able to let the lawnmowers take care of them. We might be able to do it. It'll be close. Oh, here they come. Here they come. We, we might be safe on that row. Maybe. I'll find out. Is there any more zombies? No. Okay. There's the pile. There's the swarm. Guys, I think we're gonna do it. One try, no cheats. I, I, I just, I just wanna, I wanna. There we go. Yeah. That's nice. Okay, so let's actually try to tack up a little bit. Go, pea shooters. Go, shoot down from that root. Knock them out. I don't think there's much uh, going to stop these herds. Well, there we go. Yeah. Ladies and gents, we did it. That was horrific. So guys, that was Foliage versus Undead. What did you think of it? Do you want a part two? I'm not sure what we would do at a part two because it's kind of just what the game is. It's literally what I just showed you. You should watch Bob Iver's video though. He's amazing. He does terrific work as he just watched. Look at how cool this is in the, the free mode, basically. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. You, you, you just get to do what, what you really want to do. Just mess around for a, a 20 minute game session, you know? 
It's pretty cool. But I have been Archaea Casma. Hope you enjoyed. You should leave a like and subscribe. Hope you have a terrific night. Stay healthy. Stay awesome. Look out for the next episode of RL Craft. It might be. Watch out. It, it, it just might be.